What is up YouTube? Thanks for joining me and thanks to everyone who commented on the last video that I did with Ramiz aka Ramity where we worked a little bit on a bit of an ambient sort of track. So I hope you guys went over to his channel and hit that subscribe button because the next video after this one in the series is going to be posted on his channel. Just a quick disclaimer, it turns out that while we were working on the project uh, the audio capture that we were doing was coming out mono uh, so we must have set it up incorrectly. Just be warned you're not going to get the full stereo effect but at the end of the video, I'll, I'll post a quick clip to what we've got so far with a full stereo wave, just so you guys can get a reference of what the track sounds like before I send it over to Ramiz for him to start working on. Anyways, let's dive in and have a look at part two. So what I do for this kind of thing is I'll usually write my uh, sign bass an uh, octave higher yeah. so I can hear what it sounds and like it. and then just drop it because right. often you, I won't really be able to monitor because I don't have subs here right. well, what I normally do mm -hmm. is um, I just use the sub the actual sub mm -hmm. and use the square uh, yes and then you can hear it as well true yeah true yeah. Yeah. either way the thing with the sub though is the one thing I've picked up is the sub in Serum always has random phase like this oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can't actually turn it yeah, off you if can't, you know what I mean. you can't. so it's like an analog sub yeah. emulation if you yeah. know what i mean i turn the level down so oh, it's not okay. as harsh yes yes I mean, yes yeah but so i mean it kind of depends always, what you want you know yeah. i kind of I generally end up just starting with oscillator a because i know that if i do want to end up tweaking some stuff i don't hit the, a wall and be yeah. like oh shit now i've got to redo this yeah, yeah, yeah. with the other oscillator yeah. because the sub is like very basic if you know what i mean yeah. it's only once i've hit both yeah, of these, then do I go back back okay. to the sub? Yeah. You know, because this I would really just call a third oscillator because it can do things other than sub. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Just like the spare oscillator. So we jeff we generally yeah, we yeah. definitely want some portamento, I think. I find with it. with serum you don't actually you don't have to yeah because it's not it. really like like with some of the other VSTs like uh, silent when you generate just a sine wave yeah there's other harmonics that yeah. are coming through yeah. whereas with this it's one of the cleanest subs is yeah yeah I just do it just to clear up space yeah. if there is space to clear yeah I true clear true yeah they but could actually have, be but you don't have to because I mean there are little yeah. artifacts coming through here so we might yeah. as well I guess we are using a lot of like live sounds mm. which takes up a lot of the mud true yeah true especially those bongos and yeah. stuff
Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, I'm going to be passing it over to Ramiz for him to work on on his channel. So if you guys are keen to check out part three and head on over to his channel and subscribe over there to get the next episode. As always, if you haven't yet hit my subscribe button and the like button, check out my Patreon to see the different pledges I've got. If you want to support me and what I do on my channel, see you guys next time.